In this video, we are taking a look at the all new short scale Stingray from Stolen by Music Man. So this is the all new short scale Stingray from Sterling by Music Man and two very unique things about this bass right off the bat is first of all obviously it is a short scale Stingray which is not something that we've ever seen before. This is a 30 inch scale whereas the regular long scale Stingray is a 34 inch scale. So it's uh, substantially smaller than a regular Stingray and another very unique thing about it is that this is actually a passive bass so there's no 9 volt battery in the back of it like you usually see with a Stingray it's all passive electronics and there's actually quite a bit going on in the controls here so let's go over that real quick so we have three knobs right here there is a tone knob there's a three-way pickup switch here which goes from parallel to single coil to series which is something that you usually see in the five string stingrays but not in the four so that's pretty cool that they have it in the four string stingray here and then we have a volume knob here which is also a push pull knob and the push pull is a volume boost so when you push it down you actually get a boost in the volume and then when you push it back down it goes back to normal and one really cool thing that I like about this is even though it's a short scale bass it's got 22 frets so you get a lot of range out of this bass. Now reachability can be a little bit difficult. If you have your hand all the way down here, see your pinky kind of stops in between the 20 and 21st fret. So it's kind of hard to do like if you want to go like hammer on from your index to ring finger, for example, it gets kind of uh difficult over here so I had to do it right there with my index and middle finger for that reason but still awesome that it has that range and when you're playing chords that range is very much usable and the reachability is great for that so I do love that about it even some of the long scale stingrays don't have that they have like 21 frets so really cool that you get that and now let's go over some sounds so I'm gonna start it with the tone all the way up and I'm going to have the switch all the way this way, which is the parallel position. And let's just see what that sounds like. And now let's try it in the middle position, which is single coil. And now let's try the last position, which is series. And series usually sounds a little bit louder. You get a little bit of a volume boost with series, and you get a lot more mid range and punch with it. So let's see what it sounds like. <laughs> All right, so that gives you an idea of all the three different positions when playing finger style. And I'm going to go back to parallel and let's just play around with the tone knob a little bit so you can hear what that sounds like. So this is the tone knob all the way up, which is how we had it in the last three examples. And all the way down. And then if we do that in the single coil, here's all the way up. And then all the way down. And then if we do that with the series all the way up. And then all the way down. So you can see the wide range of sounds that you can get out of just a passive Stingray. Now this is a short scale but it's definitely got a big sound and 
it sounds great man i really like the sound i, I like that it's passive i like all the i really like that it has the parallel single coil and series i love that about the five string stingrays always wish they would have that on the four string and they never had it before but they have it on this short scale which is awesome and i'll show you guys the volume boost real quick because i just realized that i forgot to show you that so it's really it doesn't affect the tone it's just volume so here's the volume just the way it is right now all the way up and then if you push on it now that might actually even be distorting because i'm looking at my interface here and i have it gain staged for it down like this so that volume boost might be distorting a little bit but it's just volume it doesn't affect the tone at all so let's check out some more sounds on this bass of course it wouldn't be a stingray without slap right so let's check that out i'm gonna have the tone all the way up again let's go back to parallel here volume all the way up and let's try that with the single coil And let's try the series. So as you can see, just like every other Stingray, this thing really shines with slap bass. And before we wrap this up, let's just do a few more things. I'm gonna bring it back to parallel and let's just play around with some harmonics. So as you can see, harmonics really sound great on this bass. Of course, chordal playing, and that's the thing with short scale, you can do a lot more as far as like chordal playing up here because the frets are a lot closer together, it doesn't require as much stretching. So if I wanted to play, for example, like this G9 right here, I can play this with almost, I'm not stretching at all, actually, zero stretching. Whereas on a long scale, I'd have to do at least a little bit of stretching, but on this one, see this three fret jump is very easy. I mean, four fret jump, five fret jump, very, very easy, effortless. That's one of the benefits with the short scales. There's a lot more, a lot less stretching involved. So it's a great option if you have smaller hands and you know, you can't really do a lot of stretching back here. Or you feel like it's kind of hard to play because you're stretching a lot. Maybe if you have some kind of like nerve or muscular issues, which I know some people do, this really helps with that too because you're not going to be stretching as much. Your hand's going to be a lot more relaxed while playing short scale because the frets are a lot closer together, especially as you come up here if you're trying to do the portal stuff. You know, it's really, really easy and effortless. So that is the short scale Stingray from Sterling by Music Man. Hope you guys enjoyed this demo and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.